And here we go, the latest from the Central Pacific Hurricane Center, wind 60 miles per hour, gusting to 70 miles per hour. With that track and that speed, can you fill us in on your thoughts with the speed of the system as well as the track of the system as Olivia makes its way towards the islands? Sure. In the last 24 hours, we've seen this storm speed up pretty significantly. Mm -hmm. And what's, what that has meant is that where the Big Island was in the cone of uncertainty before, now it's not because the track has moved a little bit kind of northward so that it's more confined to between Maui and Oahu. And remember that the, the bounds of the cone show potential places where the center of the storm can go, but impacts can still be felt outside of that cone of uncertainty. For example, winds are going to pick up statewide, rains are going to pick up statewide, yep. things of that nature. Um, and it looks like, you know, uh, for Maui County, if this track holds, we'll, we'll see it very, very close to Maui County, perhaps making landfall on one of the islands over Maui County. Um, and Oahu is still in that track. Looking like, I would say, what do you think of this time frame? I mean, if we were to guesstimate, uh, between 4 and 8 a.m., that's the number I've been throwing out so yeah, far. Yeah, if you look at the Central Pacific Hurricane Center, I think the earliest arrival time of winds is in the overnight hours leading mm -hmm. into tomorrow morning. Okay. So. For the center of the system, probably uh, the latter part. Well, maybe yeah, around. Yeah, probably mid-morning yeah. mid okay. tomorrow into, the, into noon time, early afternoon. And generally, we're talking winds 40 to 50 miles per hour with gusts maybe 60 yeah. or so. If you zoom out a little bit, you sure. can see the current strength of the storm. So it shows the sustained winds of 60 miles per hour. So sustained means that a wind speed is held constant for at least one minute mm -hmm. and then gusts up to 70 miles per hour. So you can imagine that just one instantaneous wind speed mm -hmm. could be 70 miles per hour. And then um, its central pressure has been rising. It's 1,002 millibars. Just to give you a reference, the global oh, average is around 1,013. Mm -hmm. So it's not a very low pressure anymore. Mm -hmm. It's been coming up, which shows that it's weakening. The shear has been doing its job. I get so happy when I see a tropical system over 1,000 millibars. You, don't, you have no yeah. clue what that says to me. When I see the 900s, I'm like, I'm miserable. I'm bummed. I'm like, oh. And then I see it over a thousand. I just like, it's like the sun coming out. It's after the storm. I'm like, yes. So it needs to stay over that thousand. Yeah, the, the lower the central pressure, typically mm -hmm. the stronger the storm. So as we see the pressure start to rise, it's definitely a good sign.